guys, so we switched spots to this brake line. This is two minutes, and I got I got a big one on. I think, I think it's bigger than one my dad got. It's a, it's a good fit on that same drop shot. Here he comes. I haven't got a real good look at him. Oh yeah, he's a good one. He's a good one. Look at him. Fishing in about 16 feet of water, falling on a break. He's way down there right now. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Show me come up with a net. I, I got him. Okay. Yeah, I got him. This is when the game's on. Oh, come on, baby. Watch that trolling motor. They get you right down by this boat and they just dog you. <laughs> oh, he's good. He's good. He might be four. He, he's good. Oh, yeah. I think he's longer than mine. Man, I'm, I'm using a medium action drop shot rod. He's, he's giving me what for right now. You just don't want a horse too small with right next to the boat. That's when you break off a lot of fish. Watch the trolling motor. He's right under the boat. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, my oh Cole. Get the net. Get the net, Cole. Oh my gosh. Oh, Cole. <laughs> oh. Alrighty guys, so we just weighed the fish. We've been taking good care of him in the live one and everything. We weighed him and he turned out to be six pounds. 6.12, so just under six and a quarter pounds. You know, I didn't even think the fish was that big because the thing was it was a long cast on a drop shot, and you can't tell with these smallmouth. He was in 16 feet of water. I saw him come up way out there, and I was thinking, you know, three pounds because I didn't get that look at him. I just saw a flash, but <laughs> I didn't get a good look at him until he was done at the end. But, you know, he's, he's my biggest smallmouth I've ever caught, and it was the second fish we've caught on St. Clair today, so that's just that's crazy. But it was our first, it was our second spot of the day. Got him on a little Aaron's Magic six inch drop shot. And um, we're going to put him back now. But you can just tell it's an old fish. He's post spawn, but he's still, he's still, you can tell he's putting on his um, weight from spring. He's putting back on his weight after he dropped his egg. So let's let him go. Six pounds, 12 ounces. Real quick, I just want to look at, I just want to emphasize the teeth on that. You can tell that there's that clear water minerals. They, he's got teeth on. So let's let him go real quick. My biggest fish on a drop shot, and it's my biggest smallmouth I've ever got too, so. Lake St. Clair is a place to get these things. And there he goes. All right guys, got another smallmouth on. And this feels like another big one. Oh my gosh, yep. Just staying on that break, you just gotta follow your GPS. Look at them fight. Two and a half, three pounder. Good one. Good solid fish. Look at, he's got those red eyes. They get that up north on that drop shot. There he is. Put him back. Solid two and a quarter fish. down there. It's done that little six inch, Aaron's magic, using a quarter ounce just so we can get down there quick. Tungsten weight. That's our smallest fish so far, but they're a little fat guys. Look at that. You can tell they've been eating good. Let them go. not done with me yet. There he is. All we're doing, it's kind of slick conditions right now, so, you know, the reaction bite's not gonna be as good just because how clear this water is and how slick the, and it's not windy at all out here. Um, so all we're doing is we're just keeping our boat on this break, 16 foot break. You know, it's about nine to 11 feet up on the flat and then Right where our boat is, it's on the drop off where it's um, 16 foot. We're just fishing that, and that's where these fish are.
cool thing about these, these fish are better sized than fishing up shallow. You know, you're catching a lot of good fish. He's bleeding, so we'll get him back. Was it really? Yeah. He hammered it. First cast with a jerk bait. <laughs> That's really cool. Good one. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm hooked up again. We fished the break up and they just shut off. We thought they the fish just shut off, so we came back to where these fish were schooled up. There just must be a school right here. Because they weren't on the uh, upper part of the break. This is uh, probably the fourth cast back after we um, ran back to the beginning of it. Man, he's, he's, he's a good one. He's, he's a little bit better than average what we've been catching on here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Man, they're beautiful. It's a good fish, about a you know, two and a half pounder. It's a spot. Yeah. I think the weird thing with that fish, hit it once, dropped it. Cast it, or I didn't, I just let it sit there. He hit it again, dropped it again, and then the final time, he actually got it that time. So, you know, two and a quarter, two pound, two and a half pound fish. Really chunky fish. You can tell they're putting on their summer bellies. So let them go. All right, we got a pretty good one on here, Dad says. I haven't seen it yet. Is that on that beaver again? Yes. Yep. He's good. He might go four, Cole. Really? This might be our second biggest fish of the trip so far. Maybe not. <laughs> Is he good size though? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. It's a three pounder. There he is. That's a football. Show the stomach. Show the stomach. It's a three and a half pounder right there. Put him in the Got about a three pounder on. They are on this spot right now. It is so wavy out right now. There he is. <laughs> on that tube. Get back in there. I gotta get on the trolling. And I got this one. You got one? Good one? Yep. I told you, Cole. I'll land it. Huh? I'll, I'll land it. You want me to film? I got the go for Okay. All right, guys. This is our first decent fish of the morning. I haven't seen him yet, but he's decent. Yep. Two pounder. Go, goal. <laughs> there he is. Another one? Big one. Big one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's the camera? In the rob box. Yeah, it's a big one. Okay. Alrighty guys, we sec third fish of the day and it feels like a big one. This might be one of the biggest ones of the trip. Oh my gosh. 
Oh yeah, he's good. He's a four. Yeah. He's bigger than that. Yeah, he's five, I think. He's a big one. Move that rattle one, we'll come over in the seat. Oh. This is when they get you right here. Here he comes. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Holy crap! Get the, get the net right behind you, Cole. Here he comes. Oh! That's a bu oh my. <laughs> Look at that, that is solid right there. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh. Right. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay guys, so this fish weighed 6.03, so it's basically six even. We're gonna let him go, caught him on a drop shot on this break. Same break we've been fishing all trip. Nice healthy fish. He's just a football. Look how healthy that fish is. I don't think this fish probably never been caught. His mouth's perfect. God, he's pretty. Look at him in that water. There he is. Okay, guys, we've been out on this spot just whacking them all day. I've lost track of how many fish. I've got a pretty good one on one of the bigger ones um, that we've gotten while so I decided to film it. So it's a good one. We're gonna try and get him in. My dad lost a big one about 20 minutes ago. Oh boy. That's an easy a five. Yeah. Eh, he's, he's, he's four and a half, five, but he's a big one. Man! Man, me. He's a big old black one. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Man! <laughs> Look at that. Lake St. Clair. Here we go. Just say it, just don't horse him in. I'm not. See a big one? He's big. Your biggest yet? Yes. Alright. Don't horse him. You, get, you can go ahead and get mine for me. Okay. He's not like yours, but he's good. The three pounder. He about pulled my pole out of my hand. Way down deep right now. Here he comes. Yeah. Okay everyone, so we're getting off the water right now after a really long but fun day in the water. We've been up since 6 o'clock and we fished all the way till dark. Um, you know, we, we, this is probably the best day I've ever had in my life of fishing. We caught over um, 100 fish. We lost count after 100, but all smallmouth. It was just crazy out there. and. Um, you know, most of our fish were caught on drop shots. We got we got them on everything though. We've got them drop shots, shaky heads, Carolina rig, grub, spinner baits, but um, it's just a great day in the water. So um, we're gonna get all this, get this boat cleaned up, and um, we're gonna get back out of the water tomorrow. So stay tuned, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Fish and land them in this rough water. 
can't get my hand around it so wide. Got him. That's a football right there. <laughs> That's a, you know. Oh boy. He's big. Nice fish. That drop shot again. Lake St. Clair. Hey guys, three casts later, I'm hooked up with another one. This one feels bigger. On that same drop shot. Oh yeah. Really meant some more. Nice fish. All that drop shot. Getting on them. You guys got a pretty good one on a structure bug. We've been we've been killing them all day. I'm just trying to get this one. I've been getting away from the drop shot and I'm starting to throw a structure bug. There he is. On a big old half ounce shaky head. Football shake yet. Yeah. I'm using a summer crawl, a little structure bug, it's new by Rage. On a half ounce football shake yet. Nice three and some chains fish. Football. Put him back. Alrighty guys, got another good one. We're on a school right now. Here it comes, it's coming up. It's on that same structure boat. That's a good oh. one right there. That's a good one. These fish out here, they are just choking that thing. Look at how they're eating it. They're just one solid pound. And they're on there. Using a half ounce straight king football shaky head. Going to work on St. Clair. Put him back. Alrighty guys, it's day four, final morning. We're gonna go out to our spot and fish till about 12.30. It's been a really good trip, one of the best trips I've ever had. Um, hopefully we'll catch some smallmouth. It's about the same conditions yesterday. Um, cloudy, some wind. Um, so hopefully we can go out there and catch a couple before we get out here. Hope you guys enjoy the video, stay tuned. fish on that structure bug on that big shaky head. We're just starting to get away from the drop shots. We're catching a bigger average size on this. This is a pretty good fish. Look at that. Look at that fish. He choked that bait. Catching him right out in 16 foot of water. Been doing this for four days. Look at that. It's awesome. Put him back. Right. 
right now. He's, pretty, he's pulling pretty hard. I don't think he's that big. But. Those three pounders fight. Yeah. Ah. Right the boat. It's a nice little, you know, pushing two pounder. Pound and a half, actually. It's fun, though. There he is. Put him back. We're getting ready to head out of here. We put in a solid four days of fishing. It's been really fun. Right now, we just ended up in the canal. We didn't really catch much, but the big story has been offshore smallmouth fishing. Um, it was just an awesome four days of fishing. Caught a lot of big smallmouth, and two of my biggest smallmouth in my life came out there. Um, you know, we had a really good time. The fish were biting, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been a really fun trip. I'll see you next time.